It's another day in the office for Tom Brady, getting the W in Buffalo 40-32. to Listen to this. According to Elias, Brady is the first player in NFL history to have the following combination in the same game. 450 or more passing yards, three passing TDs, no interceptions, and 55 or more passing attempts. Let's not forget, this isn't against some slouch team. This is against the Bills defense. Skip, what statement did the Patriots make with that win yesterday? Stephen A. Smith a resounding statement that they are the best team in football because Tom Brady is by far right now the best quarterback in all the National Football League. Yesterday Tom Brady put his money where Rex Ryan's mouth was all week long. Yesterday Tom Brady, as I always tell you, he speaks with his performance. He spoke even more loudly than those fans were at Ralph Wilson Stadium. And I don't know if they set any decibel records, but they were sure trying especially early on when they scored first to go up seven to nothing. And Tom Brady said, deflate this Buffalo, because obviously they were selling their little deflate gate air pumps in their official pro shop, the Buffalo Bills were. And yesterday, once again, with what I thought was as great a regular season performance as I have ever seen from Tom Brady under all those circumstances you were just talking about, he proved he is the be he is better than Aaron Rodgers is right here, right now, at this point in time, at, at age 38. Tom Brady started three rookie offensive linemen ahead of him yesterday against the best front four in all of football. You know that, and I know that. That Bills defense is serious business because that coach, along with Den Dennis Thurman, his uh, defensive coordinator, has bedeviled Tom Brady for much of his career. If anybody has ever had Tom Brady's number, it has been Rex Ryan. And down seven to nothing, feeling like his team was about to go straight over Niagara Falls, straight down the <laughs> falls, Tom Brady said, no, not today, not even here. And Tom Brady threw for 466 yards against Rex Ryan's defense? Tom Brady put up 40 points in Buffalo? That is, that, that's preposterous. That's impossible. I'm not sure people can grasp just how sensational, all-time great that was. Because it's not like, like Tom Brady has the greatest wideouts. Julian Edelman was, was really good yesterday. And by the way, Danny Amendola made a, a last drive catch that was just, it was the yep. catch of the day. Sensational. But Tom Brady had, by my count, four drops. And I was big on Scott Chandler on, on Friday being an X-Factor. And Brady hit him twice, right in the hands down on the goal line with some 5'11 dude on him, and he's 6'7". And the moment was a little too big for him. So back in Buffalo, his old stomping grounds, he didn't come up big, and he's going to have to if they're going to be as great as I think they could be. But here's my bottom line point to you. I thought we might see Brady on a deflate gate mission. I'm going to take deflate gate out on opponent after opponent. I thought we'd see a little more psycho Tom yesterday, emotional head bunting of, of the guys he threw the touchdown passes to. I didn't see that. I saw surgical Tom. And that Tom's even scarier than psycho Tom to me because he was just cold-blooded about shredding and just picking to pieces Rex Ryan's defense. That They got to feel just as low as the, the Eagles feel today. Like, how, what do we do? 466 and 40 points on, on our turf with that crowd as we had galvanized Western New York? Really? I think it just flew all to pieces, thanks to my guy, Tom Brady. Well, um, congratulations to you, because we all know that you love your moments to rave about Tom mm -hmm. Brady. Uh, oh, he didn't deserve it yesterday? Well, he deserved it, but you're not going to get me to say that he's better than Tom than Aaron Rodgers. I no, still come don't on. feel that way. I'm just telling you right now, mm -hmm. this is one person that does not feel that way in all seriousness. What will it take I don't to convince you? I think that both of them are playing sensational football, to be quite honest with you, and I give Tom Brady a awful lot of credit. But I'm going to tell you somebody I'm going to give even more credit to. That's the two coaches, Bill Belichick because of his preparation and Rex Ryan because of his lack of mm -hmm. preparation. Those two deserved more credit than even Tom Brady's unquestionably great, great performance. 
What I would ask you to pay attention to is what transpired after the catch. Listen, Mario Williams, Marcel Darius, and Hughes, and all of these boys, they couldn't get to Tom Brady because Tom Brady was doing two step drops and getting the ball out of his hands inside of three seconds. They didn't have any chance to get to Tom Brady. He wasn't dropping back to pass, taking all day, taking pictures or anything like that. Tom Brady had that ball out of his out of his hands quicker than you could say Brady. It was just that that was just well, the reality. Well, that's sort of the no, object of the game. Well, well, well again, again. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. What I'm saying to you is that usually when a sack takes place it's because you're in the pocket dropping back to pass looking for your receivers as, and as a result the pass rush is getting to you Tom Brady a pass rush might as well not even exist because the ball is out of his of his hands quicker than you could pass gas that's just the reality Tom Jackson was talking about the rub routes the New England Patriots run and how that worked so effectively in week one week two they were using that yesterday as well number three you look at Gronkowski Gronkowski they tried everything on this boy. They put safeties on him. They put cornerbacks on him. They had a multitude of linebackers on him. Rob Gronkowski cannot be guarded. He can't be defended. He's too big. He's too gifted. He's too talented. His hands are too great. And he was getting open. Okay? So when I look at it from that perspective, that Amendola, first of all, the first, let me say this to you. That first throw to Gronkowski, that was a sensational pass by Tom Brady. Please don't get me wrong. I mean, that was just right, that right down the middle, right on the money. It was a great catch by Gronkowski, but you put it with oh, Tom Brady put it the only place it could be put without it getting intercepted or being an incompletion. That was Tom Brady. So that was a great pass. That, that catch by Amendola, even though it was a great catch, that was still a great throw by Tom Brady. And there were several great throws, but primarily most of his passes were uncontested. Quick two-step drop, got it out of his hands, plays after the catch well, made that, by... That hasn't happened against big, this big, defense big, that much. Well well, 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 that's why I said Bill Belichick. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm saying to you is that at some point in time, we're going to have to give Bill Belichick his due. I know that Tom Brady is great. I would never deny that in all seriousness. But I'm going to tell you why. I think that you need to give Bill Belichick more credit than he deserve than, than than you than you refuse to mm -hmm. give him. When you look at Bill Belichick, it's the Charlie. I'm not, not casting any aspersions on anybody, but it's the Charlie Weisses, it's the Josh McDaniels, it's the Bill O'Briens. Um, you know, it's it's the defensive coordinator that's now in Houston. That was a mm -hmm. former coach in Cleveland, Romeo Cornell. Romeo Cornell. It's all of these guys. There are a bevy of individuals mm -hmm. emanating from Bill Belichick's yeah. system that because of their success in New England, warranted head coaching opportunities. Mm -hmm. What have any of them done since they've left Bill Belichick? This man's preparation is elite, Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. Elite. Okay, Tom Brady is sensational. No question. We're just arguing 1-1-A one one between him and Aaron Rodgers as far as I'm concerned. It's not like I'm saying that Tom Brady isn't great. I know how great he is. I'm simply saying to you that Bill Belichick deserves a lot of credit. And Rex Ryan, I think more so than ever before, even more than a 45-3 to three loss as a member of the New York Jets when he was the coach there. I don't think Rex Ryan was ever as humbled as he was yesterday. He talked. He had everybody out there fired up and... Tom Brady and Bill Belichick picked him apart like he stole something. I mean, it was unreal what they did to Rex Ryan. I didn't see that coming. I, I, I got to tell you, seriously, I'm insulted by the case you just made for Belichick over Brady and I know credit. You are. I, I'm insulted, and I think Tom Brady would be insulted. I don't think he would. You did not mention the offensive coordinator, Josh McDaniels. He deserves some do. credit for, for what goes on because the real offensive coordinator is Tom Brady at age 38. In fairness, in fairness to me, the reason why I never mentioned Josh mm -hmm, McDaniels McDaniel. is because. I saw the job he did in Denver, and that guy running the offense with Brady as his quarterback ain't the same head coach that was running the Broncos. You understand? So I'm just of the mindset. I'm not saying the man can't coach. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve any credit, but I'm just saying. They did you, win the I, Super Bowl last year. I, 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 don't, Josh, so. I, don't, I don't think I don't think as highly of okay. him as Maybe I Maybe he's do a better coordinator he's a than a head coach. He's a product of Belichick. Okay, now let's talk That's about what, what the product of Belichick was yesterday. He yes. mostly coaches the defensive side of the ball. The Buffalo Bills ran for 160 yards. Tyrod Taylor played really well, I thought, and he threw the, the picks that, that were just a little wild and high. Seemed, and he was a but, little bit slow, but, too. But I got to tell you, 
23 of 30 for 242 okay. and made a push at the end of the game to make it very interesting. Wound up scoring 32 points on Bill Belichick's defense. So we're going to give Belichick, giving up 32 points, more credit than we're going to give Tom Brady, who scored 40 on Rex Ryan in Buffalo before that madhouse crowd. That's just wrong. It, it's just. It's I disagree with you, and I disagree with you because I think that as great as Tom Brady is, the system that they employ, I think that there are times when Tom Brady, Tom Brady can literally throw it to somebody in the screen and on a screen play, and the guy runs 50 yards, and you'll say, "Look at what Tom Brady but did." That's not what was uh, happening all but, day but, yesterday. It was, of course not. It's never what's happening all day but there are a lot of times within the confines of a game that Tom Brady is throwing uncontested passes like that in no way am I trying to question his greatness I know he's great but at the same time I don't think you pay attention to those kind of plays and I'm saying to you when I look at a Gronkowski I mean my God Skip Bayless there are times when Gronkowski is on the field it doesn't matter if Jay Cutler's throwing okay. him the football. He's on the but, fantasy team. But here's the point. He's Gronkowski. If he He's uncoverable, even by three King Kongs. Then why did Tom only target him 13 times yesterday, and he threw 19 times to little Julian Edelman, yeah, well, a little seventh-round well, former quarterback? Listen, listen, listen. any time you've got a slot receiver like a Julian Edelman, who's a guy that gets uh, somehow finds gaps within the middle of the field in short yard passing situations, you're going to hit those targets. Tom Brady deserves credit for that, but that's also a system thing. But I'm not, again, I'm not trying to say that Tom Brady isn't great. And I think that's what you're missing. I know he's great. I, we we did, can debate. Did, did we you can, see what he did in the fourth quarter to the can, Seattle I, I, Seahawks? I've seen what Legion Tom, of Boom? I've seen what he shredded it. I'm going to repeat yeah. myself one last time. <sighs> The only debate I'll ever have with you about Tom Brady is whether or not he's better than Aaron Rodgers, because I don't believe that. But I believe that Tom Brady is better than any other quarterback, and I believe that from a generational perspective, Tom Brady is greater than Aaron Rodgers. I just don't think he's better than Aaron Rodgers right now. But from a generational perspective, there's no question. All I'm saying to you is that this, for every two passes that Tom Brady throws that just just you just look at them and say that's fantastic there's about 10 of them where they're like practically dipping dunks and i'm saying to you that guys are making plays after the catch in a system that facilitates tom brady's greatness to some degree that's all i'm saying how many times against rex have you seen brady go uh, uh, and get sacked he was just on an all-time great roll I actually yeah. have, to that point, yeah. a, a stat that I wanted to share with you guys. The Bills' defense, when they send four fewer rushers over the last two seasons against Brady, five TDs, no interceptions. Against the rest of the NFL, nine TDs, 19 interceptions. But I'm just talking about coverage that they play. Usually, they have baffled Tom Brady. Not one time did he seem to hesitate yesterday. Well, Not but, once. But, but, but Skip, the, the man has basically dominated Rex Ryan. He's Not won, really. He won, he I mean, his stats are of, way worse against won, Rex's he, but defense. But he's won 10 of the 14 games he's played against Rex. But it's he always kinda, a struggle. Said, that he wasn't he a struggle. He kind of knows him. It's not always. It wasn't a struggle when they beat him 45 to 3. Well, that I was mean, the I, butt I, fumble I, I, game. I, I, that I'm was just, Sanchez's I, I, fault. All I'm saying, well, well butt fumble is yeah. one play, not 45 to 3. Well, yeah. All I'm saying to you is that the man kind of knows Rex Ryan. Rex Ryan did a bad job yesterday. Tom Brady picked him apart. You're absolutely right. But at the same time, I'm just looking at it. I'm saying, wait a minute. You're doing two-step drops, getting the ball out of your hands. You know, Buffalo just got exposed. Hey, Aaron Rodgers could not have done that yesterday at, on that turf. If Dan Aaron Rodgers was playing for Bill Belichick in that system, he could. Oh, that debate is for another time. Let's move on to the team that they faced in the Super Bowl. The Seahawks will try to do something that has only been done once in the last 25 years. We'll tell you what that is after the break.